Hello? This is our song. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Jesus loves me, he who died. Heaven's gate to open wide. He will wash away my sin. Let his little child come in. Jesus, take this heart of mine. Make it pure and holy thine. Thou hast bled and died for me. I will henceforth live for thee. Amen. Yes, Jesus loves us this much. I remember a story talking about how Jesus said, I love you this much. And he spread out his hands and died. That's an impression, impression on me. Yes, Jesus loves us this much. I hope that you who are sitting here watching this video understand that. In Acts chapter 20, verse 28, it says, This is the church that God bought with his own blood. Maybe you're saying, wait a minute. I thought it was Jesus. Yes. Jesus is the human form that died for us. I know it's a mystery. God the Father is still in heaven. But God the Son is here on earth. It's hard for us to understand. Wow. The missionary Paul was talking to the elders of the church in Ephesus when he said the words in our scripture reading a while ago. Paul wanted the elders to take care of the church they were overlooking. Paul explaining to the elders that God, in the form of Jesus, bought the church with his own blood. Why did Jesus die on the cross and buy the church with his own blood? In another letter, Paul makes it clear it was because Jesus loved the church. The Bible tells us, husbands, love your wives the same as Christ loved the church. What did Jesus do for the church? He died. Would you, who are husbands, do that for your wife? Christ died for the church. I know the church was not there yet, but he knew that after he died and rose, then the church would be established. So why did Jesus die? He died to make the church holy. You say, what? I'm not like that. I'm not holier than that. No, that doesn't mean that. Holy means separate from other people. You are not like other people. You don't lie, steal, murder, and different things. At least I hope not. Because he freed you from sin. Christ used the telling of the good news Meaning the gospel, that's what it means, 
good news, to make the church clean by washing it with water. Washing it with water, yes. If you've been baptized, then you've been washed with water. Christ died so that he could give the church to himself, like a bride, full of glory, meaning beauty. Maybe you who are married remember the t a time, the time when you stood by the preacher at the altar and you were nervous as your bride came down the aisle and she was beautiful in a white dress and a veil and holding a bouquet. Maybe you had music, even though you can't hear the music. It's still a thrilling sight to see your bride coming down the aisle. Wow. It says that he died so that the church be pure and without fault, with no evil or sin, or any other thing wrong in the church. And husbands should love their wives like that. Would you? Paul wrote about Jesus' wonderful love for the church. Now we look at several scriptures telling you about Jesus paying for the church with his own blood. Christ entered the most holy place. Where is that? That means heaven. Long ago, in the tabernacle, in Moses' time, they had the most holy place. The high priest could enter it only one time each year. Wow. But now, it represents heaven. Jesus really went into heaven only one time. Enough for all time. Jesus didn't need to come again and die on the cross again, rise again, then go to heaven again. No. Just one time was enough for all time. Wow. That's powerful. Christ entered the most holy place by using his own blood. You notice that the death translation uses the parentheses and puts death. Some deaf don't understand. Blood? How? Through his death. Not the blood of goats or young bulls. Christ entered there and got, got us freedom forever. So surely the blood of Christ can do much, much more. Meaning the blood of animals didn't continue. It wasn't permanent. Many times a person might go again and again and again to bring offerings. Why? Because they still sin. But Jesus' blood can wash it all away from one time. Christ offered himself through the eternal spirit as a perfect sacrifice, sacrifice to God. His blood will make us fully clean. Fully. Wow. From the evil things we have done. Paul himself before persecuted the church and Christians. Now he's repented. 
and said he's sorry for what he did. His blood will make us pure even in our hearts. We are made pure so that we can worship or serve the living God. Another passage from the book of Colossians says, God made us free from the power of darkness or evil. We don't share with the devil anymore. <laughs> and he brought us into the kingdom of his, of his dear son, Jesus. When you accept Jesus and you obey him and you repent of your sins, confess your faith, and you're baptized into Christ, you are put into his kingdom. Yes, you are in his kingdom now. The son paid the price to make us free. The price? Yes. His blood. His death on the cross. In him we have forgiveness of sins. Remember, remember that. And still another passage, this time written by Peter. It says, You know that in the past, you were living in a worthless way. You got that way of living from the people who lived before you. They influenced people. The people around you influenced you. Some people do wrong, and you copy them, and you sin. But you were saved from that way of living. You were bought, but not with things that ruin like gold or silver. But with Jesus' blood. But you were bought with the precious blood or death of Jesus, of Christ. A pure and perfect lamb. Now in the book of Revelation, John tells about his vision Wow, all the things he saw. It says that the people all sang a new song to the Lamb, meaning Jesus. You are worthy to take the scroll and to open the seals, meaning the locks, because you were killed, and with your blood, meaning death, you brought people for God from every tribe, language, race of people, and nations. From all over the world. Wow. There are plenty of scriptures showing that Jesus paid for the church with his own blood. Toward the close of our lesson, we show the benefits of being in Christ's church. In Christ, we are made free by Christ's blood, meaning his death. We have forgiveness of sins because of God's rich grace. Some people think that God 
has the impatience with us, but it's plenty of patience with us. <laughs> but we need to pay, focus on him. Again, in Ephesians, it is the same with you people. You heard the true teaching, the good news about your salvation. When you heard that good news, you believed in Christ. Those who hear the word of God, you have to hear the word of God first. And in Christ, God put his special mark on you by giving you the Holy Spirit that he promised. That Holy Spirit is the guarantee that we will get the things God promised for his people. Maybe you don't understand what it means. Okay, when you buy a house, what do you do? You first make a deposit, a down payment, or whatever. That shows that you want to buy the house. Many times a house is too much to pay at once. You can't do it. But you make monthly payments. But first, you make a down payment. Then afterwards, you make monthly payments until it's paid off in full. We haven't yet gotten a home in heaven yet. We haven't gotten blessings of eternity. Not yet. We will. But first, God gives us his Holy Spirit. That's our down payment. Then we try and go ahead with life in the way God wants us to. But it's him who saves us, not we ourselves. This will bring full freedom to those people who belong to God. The goal of all of this is to bring praise to God's glory. We could show you many, many more verses. But in all the verses we have already shown you, make it very clear that Jesus died for us. Not only because he loved us, but also that we could have life forever with him. But there's one question that's still there that puzzles us. Why would Jesus go through the trouble, trouble of dying for us? Why? This is the answer. John 3.16 it's a very famous verse. Yes, God loved the world so much that he gave his only son. God gave his son so that every person that believes in him would not be lost but have life forever. It's a beautiful verse. Another verse in Romans chapter 5 verse 8 but Christ died for us while we were still sinners still sinners wow he loves us in that way God showed us that he loves us very much This is how God, or in 1 John chapter 4, verse 9, it says, this is how God showed his love for us. God sent his only son into the world to give us life through him. Another verse in 
1 John 3, 16. It's an echoes, it's an echo John 3, 16. This is how we know what real love is. Jesus gave his life for us. So we should give our lives for our brothers and sisters in Christ. Let us pray. Father in heaven, we want to offer you thanks for your love. You showed your love through the death of your precious son, Jesus. We may not fully understand how, but while it shows his deep love for us. We pray that we will try to understand better understand, and understand that we must love each other also. Our brothers and sisters in Christ, we all make mistakes. We do bad things. So we ask you to forgive us and help us to see our wrong so that we can change and not do things that displease you. We pray that you will continue your grace on us. And we thank you for that again and again and again. We only pray in Jesus' name. Amen. As always, you can contact us. We love you and pray for you. I pray that if you're not a Christian yet, that you'll accept Christ and end your life. May God bless you. We love you.